You know, we talk about not getting, you know, too high with highs, low with the lows. You know, you can't ever ride everything on one swim, especially not your first swim. But I'm not going to lie, it's nice when the first swim goes the way you'd like, you know. So Daria coming out, squeaking into the, you know, going to best time, squeaking into the top eight, you know, and then Bobby turning around, making it in the B heat, having two scoring swims right off the bat was a great way to start our meet. At that moment, I understood that my race, my first race, will show up to all the team, um, the energy, and to set up this like spirit of, of the athletes to, to be able to swim fast on this meet. That's why I just like put all my energy on this race. You know, we had the three ladies from an individual events, Daria, Bavi, uh, and Laura. Um, you know, they were just really solid, you know, and we, that meet is about being solid. Probably the first day, the 200 medley relay just was super exciting, just being all Americans, like getting those girls, watching all the hard work for them pay off too, and then obviously the 400 free relay at the end, like not just watching it from the sideline was so exciting, and the wave of emotions that came along with that was really exciting. You know, we had an all American 200 medley relay, 400 medley relay, but just given the circumstances and everything, and you know, the, Ending the meet with that 400 free relay, breaking the school record, uh, a little bit of, of a dramatic finish, some drama behind that, you know, with pretty quick relay start on Laura. Apparently I had like a very close call relay start. I didn't, I'm not one that usually does that. It was very surprising when I got out of the pool and was like, we might have got DQ'd. Um, when I touched the wall, I looked at the wrong lane on the board, so I didn't think we got the record. Do you know how to celebrate? Because if we got the record, that'd be like awesome. But if we didn't, it'd still be great because it was fun. And there's so much energy and just like excitement like in the air. Um, but then it turned out we no one got DQ'd. So we're all screaming and yelling. We got the record, yeah! We've been trying to break that record all season and to finally do it at the final meet at NCAAs was awesome. They had been within two or three tenths of a second off that record three different times this year um, and it had been a big goal for, you know, from UNLV to conference to prelims you know they were right there uh, to see those four ladies put it together I mean to me that that relay was kind of the epitome of what our program's about in so many different ways. Probably the most memorable swim of my swimming career um, in the morning we didn't quite get the record that we wanted and we were kind of bummed and just like oh, we really wanted it then and then later in the night we were just like, okay, hey, this is it. This is our last one. Let's swim with everything we have. And I think we really came together and swam for each other and swam with not just our bodies, but like our hearts. You know, on the men's side, from an individual standpoint, I mean, obviously Max being runner up, both brush strokes was really cool. You know, he was third in both last year, so moving up a spot. Um, you know, the guy that was winning is right on top of the NCAA records. So, I mean, it's taken some super high level swims to win those. Of course, I wanted to be first, you know, but uh, these guys, he's very fast. 100 was okay. I mean, I didn't even like get super tired, but 200 was really tough. Uh, if you check like my splits by 50s, you can see that my last 50, I just, I just died. <laughs> Alexei coming in new, uh, we knew he could be really good. Uh, he trains like an animal. The guy's super driven. Uh, trains really hard and he's gonna continue to raise the bar of training for our program uh, but to see him do what you know have those swims you know in the, especially in the butterflies uh, those are some pretty high level swims and you know to be third in the 200 fly 144 um, that was that was really exciting good experience it was my first nationals first uh, great competition here and I swam the 13 times Dustin you know, being All-American both boards, he barely missed one meter last year. Um, and honestly, that was the difference, you know, helped us move from 10th to 9th was him being All-American on one meter this year. Uh, I set goals. I mean, last year I finished third place on three meter and I didn't even make finals on one meter. So this year, regardless of what place, I didn't want to put that pressure on myself. I just wanted to make finals on both boards. The relays were definitely a highlight. They, they did what we need to points wise, um, but you know, the guys, uh, that 400 medley relay, picking up a third place was was pretty cool. Did amazing job in the relays. Our best uh, best shot, we knew our best shot would be uh, 400 medley, and in the end, we scored. We placed third in that, so that was amazing, which uh, which ended up being the best in FPU history. We qualified on the final, the, the with the third time, and the final was the third. Uh, we crushed the school record. One really cool thing from this meet was. Seeing somebody step up was Olya Melnikova. Um, 
she had never swum a 50 fly short course. I, think, I don't know if she'd ever swum in her life. And we decided she was going to be our 50 flyer in the 200 medley relay. We did a lot of very focused work through those uh, three weeks between conference and NCAAs. And man, she exceeded expectations. I mean, 24-2 at fine finals was, that's a monster swim. 50 fly. I was doing it like the first time and it was good. It was really fun. I really enjoyed to spend time like with our team. This is an amazing experience and I think all these hard practices during the year is like that time when it pays off. Uh, we're not going to sit around and pat ourselves on the back for, you know, for too long. I mean, we don't want that to be the high water mark. You know, I think we, we've kind of done the easy part. You know, the easy part is to pop up one year and, and have a good year. Everybody thinks it's cute and nice and pats you on the back. And, you know, the hard part is then to sustain that. That's a huge step for us this year. Uh, we're one of six teams in the nation to have both men's and women's in, in the top ten. So that was huge, and uh, it really shows that it's a, it's a team improvement because no one person can, can take you all the way to the top ten. So that was a great success for both the men's and women's teams. Huge strides from where we were last year. I just feel like really proud of everyone because it was like we couldn't have done it without the whole team. That's a five-year process. That's not a one-year thing, you know, to get to this point. Uh, and we, you know, it was a full team thing, not just the athletes that were at the meet, but that's, a, you know, everybody that was on this team this year, you know, alumni that have been part of what we've been doing the past few years, um, they're all responsible for, you know, for that, you know, and they all played a role. I think we're just fueled and powered by a commitment to each other and, you know, and a love for, for each other and for doing something that's about more than just yourself. And I think if we keep that focus and that commitment, uh, we're, we're going to be able to continue to improve and do some cool things. And, you know, we can't let a little bit of success, you know, change the core values of what we're all about.